identity fraud hits a record high with 15.4 million U.S. victims in 2016. That's up 16 percent despite the introduction of the new chip card. What's going on? In this original report, Dorothy Tucker looks at rising consumer concerns that the chip may not be as secure as we thought. The chip card was pitched to consumers as a solution to fraud. Pat Heidkamp was a believer. This is the safest thing I can do. Then she noticed several mysterious transactions. There were five that we were suspicious of, and it was for about $2,300. But how did it happen? Among the possibilities, the card was used at a retailer that still swipes, which is less secure, or the chip card is not invincible. Even though I have the chip, mm -hmm. can criminals get my money out of an ATM? Yes. Jeremy Hayjack is a cybersecurity professor at IIT. Here's how he explains it. Hackers install a device like this called a shimmer inside the chip reader or ATM. When you insert your card, at the same time your withdrawal or purchase is being processed, thieves can electronically steal that unique code and pen and send it to a half ATM at another location. As my chip goes through, maybe 15 seconds, I can easily make another transaction with your information. In what happens at that hacked ATM? A presentation at a cybersecurity conference shows the so, shocking results. Yeah. Each one of these transactions, uh, it's passing off the card data, uh, it's receiving a PIN number. It spits out your cash. Like, whoa, jeez, that scares you. Especially if, like Donna Pellegrino, you like, wonder if you were a victim. Uh, she became would, suspicious when she I, saw a $200 ATM withdrawal in Atlanta. And at that time, I was working. After months of disputing the charge, Chase admitted there was a computer glitch and the ATM was actually in Naperville. The bank returned Pellegrino's money, but she still insists she did not make the withdrawal. The key thing to know is that no technology is perfect. So consumers have to be vigilant, set a low limit, maybe only $50 for ATM withdrawals, and set an alert by text or email for any time your credit or debit card is used. It's not once the problem happened, it's once you recognize there's a problem, report it right away. That's what Heinkamp did. She got $1,000 back from her bank, but the rest? It's just gone. Dorothy Tucker, CBS2 News. So soon after we get new technology, it say, gets compromised. Oh, great. Now we got to worry about Another that. Thing. Yeah.